Some news coming into us now, just down from where Ryan is out of the Supreme Court, because the Arizona Republican Party chair, Kelly Ward, is now going to the justices. She wants the court to block a subpoena that she got from the January 6th Select Committee. Let me bring in NBC's Kelly O'Donnell. Uh, and she and her husband, I understand, Kelly, are going to the highest court in the land here, hoping for, hoping for them to get on their side. That's right, because they're uh, both physicians and their medical group. Uh, the phones that they use are part of that company, and so they are trying to fight access to the committee of their personal cell phones and the ones they use for their business. And Kelly Ward is someone who is very prominent in Trump world. Not only is she the GOP chairman in Arizona, she's been a candidate for office. She is someone who was a Trump elector. She has been a vociferous supporter of Donald Trump. And she was subpoenaed to testify before the committee and there asserted her Fifth Amendment rights against self-incrimination. This is about her phone records, which would detail who did she talk to, who did she text with, uh, putting together kind of a picture of the people she had connections with from a period in November of 2020 through the end of January of 2021. The committee wants to know about those connections. And she has already lost at the Ninth Circuit level, and that is why she is going to the Supreme Court and Justice Elena Kagan, who oversees that circuit, and making this appeal, claiming that this is about her First Amendment rights, that a committee predominantly of Democrats, we know the January 6th Select Committee, has more Democrats than Republicans, she argues, Ward argues, is going after uh, the personal records of a Republican chairwoman. And she says that that is inappropriate, that it is trying to criminalize political speech or political thought. And the lower court viewed that differently and said these records could provide important investigative material for the committee. And she has already asserted her Fifth Amendment rights in questioning, and they want to get those records. So what will the high court do? We don't yet know. Justice Kagan can refer this to her fellow justices for them all to consider, or she can review it herself. But it just tells you what's at stake here, that this issue of the battle over democracy and the committee's efforts to try to get to the facts are now going all the way to the Supreme Court.